Hi friends and welcome to Crumbs from Gerard. Today I would like to speak to you about the saint and martyr Noel Chabanel. He was a French Jesuit in the 17th century and he longed to go and work in North America because that's the place where the Jesuits were working with the Huron and the Iroquois Indians. Finally, after asking the provincial for a long time, he was given permission and he landed there in 1643. The first thing he went about is learning the language. It took him five years but with no success at all. He couldn't even make a simple conversation. And what was most humiliating was even the children would make fun of him. Worse than that is he found the custom and the culture of people very difficult. Their staying conditions, the little tents in which they lived, he found it too smoky and filled with vermin. And the food he did disliked. Even the porridge of corn and water he did not like. He always had a secondary role to play in the missions because that was his kind of nature. But he always seemed, whatever he was doing, to be a failure. And there were many times he wanted to run away from the mission. And so, because of his desire to do God's will and obedience, he took a vow and said, until my death, I will never leave this mission unless my superiors under obedience ask me to. What kept him going was his prayer life, his perseverance and his obedience to what God wanted of him. Finally, unfortunately, on one of his missionary journeys, an uh, Indian termo hocked him to death and threw him into the river. His last recorded words are, I am going where obedience calls me, but whether I stay or receive permission from my superior to return to the mission where I belong, I must serve God faithfully unto death. And the words for which I will always remember him and give me great consolation are these, better to be a failure doing God's will than a great success doing my own.